see what comes in our mind. We want to financially secure our children. We want to make sure our children are financially secured, so we want to give them everything we have. So when we go, we know they are, they are secure. So in a way, all the wasi that we are talking about is how to leave food for them. يعني كأننا نعرف بس على طبيعة وصل على من كاتر على على من كاتر من على على فهني تحاسب على يعني كان في شيء في الوصية there is nothing on the on the way other than just how to secure them financially and that is and that is enough is not enough in the in the وصية it's part of the وصية in the financial but there is more in the The, the next question, brothers, when we came, the first generation, us, who came from back home, what did we bring with us? We had no education. We had no knowledge. We didn't know the system. We had no money. Did we get hungry? No, we didn't. So what are we worried about? We're worried about our children. We want to give them everything. You gave them education. You give them money. You, they are in the system because they are born here, and they have and they have knowledge. So why are we worried about them? What is going to happen after after we go? That's another thing we need to think about, so we can reach to where I'm trying to reach to brothers. I want you to think of one more, one more item. If you know in the coming year or two you are departing, we are all departing eventually, but it's just a matter of when. It could be uh, today, it could be tomorrow, it could be a month from now, it could be 10 years from now, Allah alam. It's in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But one thing we are all agree upon, that we are all departing. Now, if you know for a fact that in a year or two the immigration of this country is going to deport you overseas, they don't want you here, what do you do during until you are deported? You will sell everything you have. You will sell everything you have. Anything you can take with you, you will take with you. What you cannot take with you, you will sell. What you cannot sell or take with you, you probably will make a garage sale, get rid of it for a cheap price, or just distribute it. Give it to the Salvation Army or give it to a friend or... But you will not leave anything in here. Now, with this, with this in mind, brothers, you know we're departing. What are we... What are we leaving for us on the hereafter? What are we investing? There's two types of investments, brothers. For the hereafter. It's not all about what we're going to leave for our children. This is what I'm trying to reach, to give the message. It's not all about what we are going to leave our children. Leave them education. Leave them knowledge. Leave them the the system here. Give them some money. But think of yourself, you are going. You have two chances, two opportunities. To invest on the hereafter during your life now, during your life, you can invest, and inshallah, and I'm sure, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, many of us do that. I see hands goes up whenever there is an opportunity. But do more of that, brother, so that that is what you are going to find over there, not the ones you spend over here and we enjoy it here. We're done. We enjoy it. We flush it on the toilet. It's gone. But the ones that you invest in there during your living, you will find it already in your account over there, number one. And number two, more important, brothers, when you think of your wasiyah, think that you have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permitted you to carry with you up to one third of what you have at the time when you deceased. So when you go to the airport, literally you have three bags, you can carry, each one is 50 pounds. When you are ready to leave, when you are ready to write your will, just think of, you can 
coal of up to one third of what you have right now, when you reach there, you're going to start selling. You're going to start receiving that. You're going to start receiving that. When you reach there, you're going to start receiving that. And I think you need them more than anybody else. Because this is it. Once you, once you pass, what you did, you did. But once you have it in your, in your will, call for 10% of your wealth to go, to go for good charity so you can receive it when you go. How many of us do that? How many of us call for 20% of my wealth when I pass? I want it to go there. So when I reach there, it starts coming. At the time, I needed the most. How many of us thought, I want to leave 25%? 30%, 33% of my wealth, the rest of my family, that's good enough, 33%, 30%, that when I reach there, not only I'm going to find what I already invested during my living, but now we're going to start, I'm going to start receiving. As I reach over there, I'm going to start receiving what I have called for. And that's part of the wasi'i that few of us is practicing. When you go there, brother, you're done. That's your account, your balance, your budget is done. Except for what you have in your wasi and what you are going to be expecting coming to you for what you have called for. Now, just think of it, that somehow you, you lift it here for your children, they're fighting over it, now you're being hit kind of over it, over there. Versus, once you go over there, you start receiving 10%, 20%, 30% of your wealth. See the difference? Big difference. This is, this is a principle that we need to start establishing among ourselves. We need to start establishing. Think of you think. Are you planning to leave, to, to call for anything after you leave? Or are you going to leave everything in here? That is our call and we need to be careful about. In addition to the way we can, just leave your children good education. Leave your children Al-Muddin. Leave your children, teach them Sirat to Rasul Salasim. If you only leave them just those, you are, you got it made of this life and the hereafter, you and your children. You put the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the respect of our deen. You teach them the meaning of taqwa. You teach them the meaning of tawakkul ala Allah. Taqwa, tawakkul ala Allah means risk. You teach them that. You don't have to give them a lot of money. Teaching that one, tawakkul Allah, mean risk. Who said that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Whoever takes refuge in Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it clear. Whoever takes Those the teachings that we need to teach our children so they can be happy in this life and in the hereafter and so us. We need to teach them the meaning of istighfar and the relationship between istighfar and risk. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلُ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَانٍ وَبَنِينٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا مَا لَكُمْ لَا تَرْجُونَ لِلَّهِ وَقَارًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that. Give them those teachings. You give them those teachings. It's much better than living hundred thousand dollars and two hundred and three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars you might spoil them with this money but you give them this type of teachings that is that is the one they, they're gonna have their living with on this life and in the hereafter teaching the meaning of sadaqa sadaqa how how does it purify you purify your soul khud min amwalihim sadaqatan to tahkiruhum wa tuzakkihim bihab it's sadaqah. 
Those are the teachings our children need. Teach them what Luqman alayhi salam have taught his, his, his son. Luqman alayhi salam, he was not the prophet, neither he was a messenger. Luqman alayhi salam was a righteous person with wise, with wisdom. He was a wise person, he had wisdom, and he was teaching his children the wisdom he has. How many of us have taught his children, your children, what Luqman alayhi salam have taught his children, his son. Here's what, here's what Luqman alayhi salam said. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. وَإِذْ قَالَ لُكُمَانُ لِبِنِهِ وَهُوَ يَعِذُهُ يَا بُنَيَّ لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّ الشِّرْكَ لَظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنٍ وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَامَيْنِ أَنِ اشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكَ إِلَيَّ الْمَصِيرُ صدق الله عظيم انتهى الدرس يا أخوان شيخ حضر بارك الله فيكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله